Oh, guess we'll pause halfway through this when the delivery comes. Yeah, so we left when it comes along, yeah. okay? Sounds great. So we left off with the characters being like, well, um, if we're going to go to sleep here because it's super dark, if I roll over, you have to roll off on the other side. And she says, wow, that is way too hard to do. Um, Tonikoku, mm -hmm. susumu shika nai na. Well, anyway, we really have no choice except to continue forward. Ashimoto ni kiyotsukero yo, which is, um, keep what, like, be careful where you're putting your feet. And when you can see it, the next two bubbles hmm. will be for you, Cookie. Oh, um, your stream is still loading for me. Okay, there it is. Um, Gosh, but it's gonna be, like, behind, probably. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Um, which I think means um, I wonder if it's okay. Hmm. No. So daijoubu right. uh, is like it will be okay, though it can mean are you okay and things like yeah. that because it's just literally okayness. Um, nantoka hmm. is the most important part here, which is somehow or the other. Nantoka naru. So in other words, daijoubu ni naru is the main essence of the sentence, and nantoka is mm -hmm. modifying that. What do you think daijoubu ni naru means? Um, it will, it, well, it's okay, or it... it naru. Do you know what naru means? Okay, like that. So, to be, yeah. naru is to become, is what naru means, or will become, depending on the tense. So in other words, you're saying it will be oh, fine. will become. Because dictionary form tends to okay. be future tense in Japanese. So it's saying somehow or the other, yeah. everything will be fine. And next bubble for mm. you as well. Okay. Uh, you na daijoubu te iuto, um... Oh god, I forgot what that kanji means. Um, ah, saka! Oh wait, gyaku, sorry, it's gyaku. Gyaku, gyaku. Uh, gyaku ni... I think that's, um... Kiken... Uh... Sorry? Kiken dangerous. Um, is it something na ki ga suru? Um... Kiken... I think it means, um, look, the bit that really confuses me is the second line because mm -hmm. a lot of it, I don't know what it means. Totally, totally. Um, you can basically ignore that whole second line. What does you got daijoubu te iu mean? Um, it's something to do with, uh, the character you being, mm. um, okay so to say that's a good guess but it's actually not saying that the person saying daijoubu was you um mm -hmm. was the blonde hair character so one character says everything is going to turn out daijoubu and then the other character says saying daijoubu so you saying daijoubu when that happens she um gyaku ni kiken na ki ga suru so, I'm just going to tell you what this means because you don't know the vocabulary. But, kiga suru is to feel like something's true. So, she mm -hmm. feels like yep. kiken, which is danger. So, she feels like something dangerous, which is the gyaku, which is the opposite of daijoubu. So, when you, when you mm -hmm. says everything's going to be daijoubu, I think the opposite is going to happen. Something dangerous is going to happen. Okay. Okay. And right when she says that, she goes, What? Daijo. Eh? Chi-chan ga hikatteru. Chi-chan's glowing. And, uh, oh, I should still do this. Chi-chan. Ah, uh, ah, uh, michi da. Ah, oh, there's, there's a path, you. Michi ga path. Um, and Anthony, when you can see it, the next two bubbles panel will be for you. Uh, what this that? Hi, Kari uh, Akari. There's a fire and <laughs> cut. Uh, okay, Akari Akari mo aru. So she's saying there's a light. There's even a light here. Hi. Uh, 
管の中が道になってたんだ。Um, even inside the、um, pipe, there's a road. There's、right. even a road inside the pipe. Basically, yes.、Uh, Grammatically, it's saying that inside of the pipes have turned into a road, is kind of what it would be the more literal、oh, translation. Yeah, not a And the n d a is showing like she just realized it. She's like, wow. And the next two bubbles will go to Cookie. Uh, Ikeba wa. いけばわかる、あわかるってのは、こういうことが、あことか。Um, I think that means, um, I think it's something to do with in the case of going or in the、guess. case of being able、so、to go. So, what does, let's just ignore the whole sentence and just start with a part of it. What does いけばわかるみんいけば and then わかる Wakaru means okay. Ikeba means in the case of going. That's a good guess. Wakaru,、well, it is in the case if, if go is ikeba. That's correct. Or when go. Wakaru, though, does not mean okay. Wakaru is a word you do know, so I think it's just slipping your mind right now, but that is to understand. So ikeba wakaru means if you go, you would understand. And this is something that. Wait, Ishi- what did I say instead of that? You said、um, okay. Didn't I say、um, to understand for wakaru?、Mm, I'm pretty sure when I asked what wakaru meant, you said it meant okay, but it's possible you said okay and then it glitched out and I didn't hear anything when you said to understand.、Huh, I, I'm not sure what happened,、um, but okay. Sounds good. So, yeah, if you go, you understand. Anyway, this is、um, something that Ishida told the characters earlier when she handed them the map, telling them this is where the food production facility is. So, that's why we have. Te mm-hmm. Right here. This te is telling us that this ikiba wakaru is something that someone said earlier, other than the fact there's also quotation marks around that. So it's saying, so se- the, the saying of if you go, you would understand that is koyu koto, which is、um, this kind of thing. So this is the, the,、okay. the situation they're experiencing right now is the translation of if you go, you understand. Um, can you read the next bubble on this page, Cookie? Okay. Uh, yeah, Jiri Shi, no, yeah, Jiri Shi, Made, Ario. Hi. Um, there's an arrow going towards somewhere. I, I don't、really、know how to say m a d e in this context. So, Made does mean until in Japanese, but similar to how Mo means also. These two words have a shared meaning together, which can kind of mean even. It means to the extent, kind of, that there's even a ya jirushi. So, so she's basically adding stress to the ya jirushi that not only would you understand if you go at the path, this is the path you're supposed to take, but there's even、um, arrows in the path. Yep.、Yeah. 中にめちゃめちゃ道だね。あ,あ、今までの苦労は何だったんだ。Wow, it's such a such a path inside of here. And then the black hair character goes, Oh, the pain, the trouble, hardship that we've gone through up till now. What even was that? What was the point in that? And when you can see it, Anthony, the next two bubbles, which is one panel, is for you. Okay,、uh, I'm just waiting for it to load. So, so. Okay. Ah, but, Kuda no hai riguchi na, iriguchi nante attake? Attake. So it's saying, um, but the t- pipe entrance is attake, attake is. I don't know what attake means. <laughs> so, what happened is that we have this ke being added here, which you have seen before in Girls Last Tour. Adding ke to the end of a sentence makes it into a was there, was it? 
it's used when you're trying to jog your memory, basically, is what the gr- it's uh-huh. for. So, atta means there was, ex- it existed, but Ke is saying, was there this? Did that exist? So, what is she questioning or remembering uh, the existence of? Okay, so it's saying, um, but it, was there a entrance to the tube? Yes, perfect. Okay, then Tabun Mi Mi Otosu Tabun Mi Otosu Toste Mi Otoste Toste Tandaro. Uh, she's saying, like, probably we probably have, like, overlooked it. Hi. Perfect. I think. Yeah. Perfect. And the next two bubbles go to Cookie. Um. Is that right? Wait, what? Is it tote? I think so. I'm not very good with that kanji. Yeah, to. Yeah, tote ichi. No, ichi koshite. Is it kikiki se or ki koshite? Looks like it's pronounced as yukiki. I was also confused. You yuki shite. So irregular. Yukiki shite. Uh, um, so I think that means, um, um, I think the bit at the end which goes darona means I wonder, or basically, like, it, it does been, mean must I must have been is a little bit better in this specific context, I would say. Yeah. Um, but it could be, I wonder, especially with the next character saying, Naruhodo. That feels more like a probably mm. in the previous sentence than really a wondering. Yeah. So Ishiri probably, so probably did what? Passed through here. Hi. What do you think the coming and going part, the Yukiki, is adding to this? Um, like she's gone back and forth through Exactly. Here. Perfect. So she's basically saying the person writing these arrows was probably Ishii. That, that's why the arrows are in here. Because she goes back and forth. So she was like went over and made a whole little um, easy instruction map for it. Kan, kan, kan. Um, mm-hmm. Kona ni okina kan mo atanda na. Wow, so there really was these, so there, there are these pipes that are this big, huh? Soto kara ja wakara nakatta ne. You can't tell from the outside. And the next two bubbles will go to Anthony. Okay, um, food, food and kara kona kona kaze ni yaru jiru ga areva tano ara tano shi tano na. That's probably pronounced as raku in this context, but that is the kanji for tano shi. Okay, um, raku na no. Nina. Uh, so it's saying, um, uh, So in this context, this is actually not pronounced as kaze, which is very confusing because that is how that kanji is nor- Yep, it is fu, which is the way. It's. Uh, <laughs> oh, fu so means full like um, usually. Based, though. Or- yep. Saying something like this, these arrows makes it much easier. Yes. Yep. Than usually. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so basically the saying next about she, she's anime, basically right? saying um. When you're talking about usually, if it's in this kind of way, as in, if there are uh, arrows, then it's easier. But she's not really talking about like she's not really comparing anything in particular. She's just saying that the reason why these arrows are in here is by bo- doing it in this way, by adding these arrows, it makes it very easy normally to take the path. Versus if you didn't have it, it'd be more complicated. I see. Okay, um, then 
next bubble is like eh suman na yo saying um it is so boring isn't it boring hi suman na yo oh there's more left in here <laughs> um when you can see it cookie that will be for you um so it's the bit at the bottom right yes the bit uh, at the bottom mama kantani yeah uh, um, I think that means uh, haita or Good guess, it's actually tuita, which is to ride from tuita. Uh, yeah, omoshiro kunai kara betsu no michi ni gitte miru no hato no ato no ado. Um, and there's like, I think it means uh, like this, um we like this um easily or something let's let's start with uh, um the first half of the sentence ah uh, kono mama kanta ni tsuitara what does that mean like this if we can easily do something i'm not sure what it means so took is to arrive so if we if like this we can e if we can easily arrive then, omoshiku nai. What do you think that means? Omoshiku nai. I would love to say that's interesting, but it is. Um, it is interesting. It's omoshiroi. It doesn't seem right. No, you're right. It's uh, interesting. Omoshiroi is interesting, and then we added kunai to mean not interesting. Yeah, it wouldn't be very interesting. Hi. So remember, the previous um, line went tsumanai yo. That's boring. So this character is saying, if we just easily walk to the facility, that's not boring at all. So that's, mm -hmm. then she adds kara. What's this kara meaning here? Uh, because. Yep, because. So because it's, it is, it's because in this context. From is the meaning that this has if it's after a noun. This is an adjective, so it has to be the mm. because. Um, so because it's not interesting, we should betu no michi ni um, we should try um, going on a different road or another one. Exactly. Then you know what this do is adding to here? I mean, you basically. How does that sound? Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. And we got a new person joining us. So, konnichiwa. Hello. <laughs> so, say hi. Um. I'm going to have you start, when you can, the next bubble, the new guy, um, Ju Juan. Is it Juan Carl Setin? Yeah, Juan Carl Setin. Uh, Currently, your mic is muted. Um, yeah. Uh, was it wait. me? No, or we no, actually no, got a new, new person. Guy. We got okay. a new guy. We see, we see he can pop okay, in. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm assuming he can. But I'll give him five seconds. If you can't, it's okay too. Totally, you can definitely just listen in. Uh... Okay. Uh... Oh, okay. You're just oh, yeah. Listening. I'm looking at sounds welcome introductions. Good. Yeah, he's just listening. Sounds mm -hmm. good. Sounds good. In that case, the next couple of bubbles is going to go to Anthony. So now it is your turn, Anthony. Okay. Um. So. Tatoeba ano ana to kasa. So this bubble is saying like um for ex for example that hole that hole right there. Hi. Um what's that? Kyaka kyaka Hi. So kasa. This is basically we got toka, which is oh wait, you're talking about this one, kyaka, never mind. Ah, okay. uh -huh. So, kyakka moto mukuteki yo mez mokuzen mokuzen ni site ah, what's that? Michi shirube Michi shirube o mu mushis 
Suru. Mushi Suru Yatsuga Dokuni. Uh, so it's saying, um, um, so Gyaka is like a rejection. Then the next vowel is Mokoteki. Oh, before my eyes. Yeah. Or for my eyes. Mokoteki Nishite. Saying, um, Right before my eyes is the um, so before you translate the this, target, I, I want to uh, explain a part of this to make it a little bit easier. This is five. Yatsuga Doko Dokoni. Okay, bye, Cookie. Let me know when you come back. All right, Yatsuga Dokoni. This is a phrase in Japanese to basically mean where on earth is the person that would do this, and it's used to act like as an insult basically towards something like, like who is that stupid is kind of what she's saying here, describing this character okay. as being extremely stupid. So, and this whole section right here is modifying the yatu. So a person that, when you see a mokutekichi, which, what does mokutekichi mean? Mokutekichi is like the destination. Yeah. So when your destination is right under your nose, yeah. you mushi the... Um, what do you think that's telling us? Mushi? Ah. Hi, mushi to ignore. Um, so, Mokute saying mushi. Disregarding, ignoring mushi. Do you know what a michi shirube is? Michi Shirube is guidepost. Yeah, so ignoring a guidepost. Ignoring the guidepost. Hi. So this is saying... Ignoring the guide. Hi. What do you think this is saying altogether? Yeah, I got um, It's saying... Um, the, the, the destination is right under our nose. Um, the guidepost... Is mm, we'll just ignore the guide post. That's a good opening. Right. So yeah, something that's confusing is confusing like, you with the translation right. is that this is all a relative clause. All of this, this whole sentence, is an adjective to describe yatsu. So this is a person, a person that ignores the path ah. and the destination that's right under and their just nose. Goes straight. Yep, and and does something ah. else. So where on earth is that person? And she's using this as an insult right here. This is a saying, who on earth would do this? Uh, so it's describing the person. Hi, hi. And the joke is, is that the next picture goes, Koku ni iru ga! Saying, she's right here! Because normally you're not supposed to answer that. Like, who on earth would be so stupid yeah. as to d have a destination, but then go on a random detour? When there's a path telling you you're supposed to go this way. She's like, I'm right here. Um, and Anthony, how about the next two little bubbles? Really wait for Cookie. Uh, is it for me? Uh, sorry. Yes, yes, for you. <laughs> okay. Kondo mecha mecha mayotara motto mecha mecha. Onakasukuzo so ste shinu. Perfect. Uh, so this bubble says like Hondo is this next time. Hi, uh, this time. Uh, this time, okay. This time, um, if we get lost, um, we're, we're gonna really go hungry. Hi. Right. We're really going to be extremely hungry. And then, we'll die. Perfect. And what we skipped out okay. on accident was the Hontoni yamete, which is really stop that. As in stop being so stupid. Um, gomen, sorry. Um, sokka, ja, kono mama de iya. Oh, I see. In that case, we should continue as we are doing. Um, and Cookie, ah, okay. <laughs> why don't you try reading this little bubbles right here? 
Sorry, uh, you're breaking up, oh. Molly. What did you say? Uh, when when you can see it, you got another bubble for you to well, not bubble, but text for you to try to read. Got some messy, messy handwriting. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, hen na gomi ga taksan ochiteru ne. Uh, so he's he's saying uh she's saying um there's lots of strange trash falling. Hi. There's uh, okay. then dekai means like um big. Hi, hi. Then nagarete kita no kana. So it's flowing. Nagarete kita no. It's flowing. Hi. It's in coming and it's like it is like calm and flow mm. together. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Basically, hi. You actually missed very little because you uh, ended basically when the page when the chapter ended. <laughs> this was the page you left on. So what you missed was right over here, Her. where um, basically. Uh, this character and self, this character were saying, where on earth is a person that when there's a destination they want to go to right there, they just ignore the signpost and do something else. And then she Rip. says, she's right here. And she says, stop that. And then um, the next <laughs> character says, you know, if we decided to go on a random goose chase, then we're going to get super duper lost. And then we're going to get super duper hungry. And then we're going to die. And she says, oh, okay, I get it. We got to, um... Follow the path, then. And then this right here is just talking about the weird gears are very big. Um, but yeah, that's All where right. we'll be ending it for tonight and starting chapter 18 next week. So sorry you had to rush to get your uh, package and just kind of miss that. So yeah, we'll yeah. be reading. But that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's... I can have a look at my I can have a look at this in my own time. Mm -hmm.